Well, it is Friday, and like every Friday, I want to give my weekend advice for those traveling in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. We did come out with our weekly e-update this uh, uh, today. It went out to over 3,000 of our current and former clients. In that update, it talked about three things that can ruin your holiday season, and that's what I want to talk about right now. There are three main things that we see every holiday season that seem pretty common, and they are offenses that really can be avoided. Uh, the first one is traveling into New Jersey with a gun um, from, from Pennsylvania. I've done a lot of videos, a lot of articles on this. Your Pennsylvania gun cannot go into New Jersey. If you're going to visit family in New Jersey, you can't take your Pennsylvania gun. New Jersey will not honor your Pennsylvania license to carry. It's almost impossible to get a permit to carry in New Jersey. And because of that, if you are charged and convicted of illegal possession of a firearm in New Jersey, there's a 42 month mandatory minimum state prison sentence. Now there are things that, that we can do under the Graves Act to avoid that, but it's better not to have that problem initially. It will literally cost you thousands of dollars in legal fees uh, for just that one charge. In addition, the second charge that we see is DWI and DUI. Now people think that I, I'm, I'm always talking about driving under the influence of alcohol, but really a lot of our DUIs and DWIs come in because of prescription drugs, not illegal drugs like heroin, crack cocaine, marijuana, but prescription drugs, and even over-the-counter drugs. If you drive a car and you're impaired because of something you took, even if it was legally prescribed by a doctor, you are still DUI and DWI, and you are still subject to the same type of penalties, including license suspensions and even jail. So remember that the type of drug, it goes toward mitigation, but it, it, it is not a defense. So if you take Benadryl and you go out and drive your car and get an accident, or you're just stopped for swerving, you can be charged and convicted of DUI and DWI in both states. Holiday season, there's increased traffic patrols on the state and local highways, and they, they're on the lookout for these drivers. Police officers and state troopers are trained to detect them, so please be on your guard and be careful what you're taking uh, during the holiday season, especially because of that increased presence. Finally, uh, house parties. You know, in typical years, there's a lot of Christmas parties, a lot of holiday parties, and uh, we're usually talking about um, a lot of gatherings. But in this situation, because of COVID and we're being encouraged not to gather, I know that a lot of people are simply ignoring that. And there are actually some parents who are actually allowing their kids, their college age kids, to host little parties at their house. And as a parent, you have to be careful. If you're serving or you're allowing minors to be served in your home in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, it can be a criminal offense and there can be civil liability attached with that in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Please be aware of that. I see a case every holiday season involving underage drinking, a lot of it coming from parties being hosted. Uh, sometimes the parents know about them, sometimes they don't. But be, be aware uh, if, 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 if minors are in your house, you are responsible for those minors. And serving them alcohol, letting them drink, uh, comes with potential consequences, be on guard uh, for that. So if you have questions about any of this, in Pennsylvania, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania. In New Jersey, 856-793-7429. The website, gambonelaw.com, a tremendous resource for you and your family. It has my books, my blogs, my videos. Everything that I've ever written as a lawyer is available there. Also, the weekly e-newsletter, you can sign up for that. Like I said before, it goes out every week. This week went out to over 3,000 of our current and former clients. It's a great resource. Please have a great weekend. Uh, Christmas is next week. The holiday season is here. Uh, so have a great Christmas next week, but I will talk to you all soon. And please, again, please enjoy this weekend responsibly. Have a great day.